For every 1,000 babies born in the U.S., one to two will have hydrocephalus. And tonight's health beat, Cumberland Sophie Heidemann, is finding out what parents should know when it comes to caring for a child born with the health issue. Rapid City native Luke Pearson was born with hydrocephalus, an abnormal accumulation of spinal fluid within the cavities in the brain. Luke's parents, Suzanne and Lance, say he had a shunt placed, which is meant to allow fluid to drain out of the head. Uh, we ended up flying out to um, the University of Minnesota, the Children's Hospital, and spent some time out there with them, uh, and they kind of handled it when he was a baby. After yearly checkups, doctors at the U of M thought he had grown out of his hydrocephalus, but as he grew older, he began experiencing headaches. The hydrocephalus slowly developed and got worse and worse, and then he like kind of went into an acute coma and um, had to have uh, emergency surgery as a result of that. In August of this year, Luke was flown to Sanford in Sioux Falls, where he had his shunt replaced, allowing the buildup of fluid to be relieved. It was affecting all kinds of things in his body. He was having some sort of a not a seizure, but a, I was calling him an episode, really, when we were in the ER, um, to where he would he would kind of clench up and, and almost shake. Since getting his new shunt, Luke's doing well. Uh, better, a lot better, actually. His family is sharing their story to remind others that yearly checkups and follow-up care is crucial and to always trust your instincts. Parents know, you know your kids, and, and my wife, uh, if she wouldn't have said we need to take him into the ER, you know, I don't want to think about where we'd be. If a child has ever been diagnosed with hydrocephalus, you've always got to think that it could be the hydrocephalus causing those problems. And so, uh, God, luckily he got into the hospital when he did. With HealthBeat, I'm Sophie Heineman. And to learn more about hydrocephalus, just go to this story on Cuddleland.com.